Learn English Through Stories B26 PDF Adapted and Modified by Kalwant Singh Sandhu Contents 1. The Little Prince Chapters 13 to 16 Two Sentences 7. Free Picture Dictionary Chapter 13. People The little prince comes to the second planet. He sees another strange man. The man likes when people admire him. Another person who admires me, says the man when he sees the little prince. He believes that all people admire him. Good morning, says the little prince. You have a funny hat. I use this hat when I say good morning to people who come to visit me, but not many people visit me here, really, says the little prince. Really, clap your hands, says the man. The little prince claps his hands, and the man touches his hat, and he moves the hat a little. This is more fun than the visit to the king, the little prince thinks. The little prince claps his hands again and again. The man touches his hat again and again. After five minutes of this exercise, the little prince starts to be tired of this game. Do you only touch your hat, or can you do something else? he asks. But the man doesn't hear him. This type of people never hear other people. They hear only when somebody admires them. Do you really admire me very much? he asks the little prince. What is admire? To admire is to believe that I am the most handsome, the richest and the most intelligent man on the planet. But you are the only man on your planet. Yes, I know that I am the only man on this planet. But please admire me. I admire you, says the little prince, but I don't understand why it is so important to you. The little prince has nothing else to do on this planet. So he continues on his journey. Adults are very strange, he thinks when he is leaving this planet. When the little prince visits the next planet, he sees a man. This man drinks a lot. He is drunk. This is a very short visit. And it is a sad visit. What are you doing? he asks the drunk man. The drunk man sits before bottles. Some bottles are empty. Some bottles are full. I am drinking, says the drunk man. His face is not happy. Why are you drinking? The little prince asks. I want to forget, says the drunk man. To forget what? Asks the little prince. To forget that I feel horrible, says the drunk man. And he puts his head down. Why do you feel horrible? Asks the little prince. The little prince wants to help the drunk man. I feel horrible, because I drink so much, I know that it is bad to drink so much, says the drunk man. Then, he is quiet. The little prince leaves the planet. Adults are very, very strange, he thinks when he continues on his journey. Chapter 14 A Businessman The little prince visits the fourth planet. There is a businessman on this planet. He is very busy. He is so busy that he doesn't look at the little prince when the little prince comes. Good morning, says the little prince. Your cigarette is finished. Three and two make five. Five and seven make twelve. Twelve and three make fifteen. Hello. Fifteen and seven make twenty-two. Twenty-two and six make twenty-eight. I have no time to light the cigarette again. Twenty-six and five make thirty-one. It is five hundred and one million six hundred and twenty-two thousand seven hundred and thirty-one. Five hundred million what? asks the little prince. Are you still here? Five hundred and one million, I don't remember. I have so much work to do. I am a serious man. I don't want to lose my time with things which are not important. Two and five make seven. Five hundred million what? repeats the little prince. He wants the answer to his question. 
The businessman looks at the little prince. I am 54 years old. I don't like when somebody stops my work. It doesn't happen often. I remember only three times. The first time, 22 years ago, a bird falls on my table. The bird makes a horrible sound, and I make four mistakes in my calculation. The second time, 11 years ago, I have rheumatism. I don't have enough exercise. I don't have time for such activity. I am a serious man. The third time is now. Where am I? 501 million, million what? The businessman understands that if he wants to have peace, he has to answer this question. Millions of those little things which you sometimes see in the sky. Flies? No, not flies. Bees? No. The little golden things. Lazy people like them because they can dream when they look at them. But I am a serious man. I have no time to dream. Ah, stars? Yes, the stars. And what do you do with 500 million stars? 501,622,731. I am a serious person. I need numbers which are correct. And what do you do with those stars? Nothing. I own them. You own the stars? Yes. But I know a king who kings don't own. They control. It is very different. And why is it good to own stars? When I own stars, I am rich. And why is it good to be rich? When I am rich, then I can buy more stars if somebody discovers them. But how can you own the stars? It is simple. Who owns them? asks the businessman. I don't know. Nobody. Then I own them because I am the first person who has this idea. Is it enough? Of course. When you find a diamond, it is your diamond. When you discover an island, it is your island. When you have a new idea, you patent it, and it is your idea. Now I own the stars, because I am the first person who has this idea. It is true, says the little prince. And what do you do with them? I look at them, I count them, and I count them again, says the businessman. It is difficult. But I am a serious man. The little prince wants to know more. If I own a jacket, I can put the jacket on me and I can take it with me. If I own a flower, I can pick the flower and take the flower with me. But you can't pick the stars. No, but I can keep them in the bank. How can you do it? It is easy. I write the number of my stars on a little paper, and then I put the paper in the bank, and it is enough, it is enough, says the businessman. It is funny, thinks the little prince. But it is not very serious. The little prince says to the businessman, I own a flower. I give her water every day. I own three volcanoes. I clean the volcanoes every week. I also clean the volcano, which isn't active. You never know. It is good for my volcanoes. It is good for my flower that I own her. I help my flower and I help my volcanoes. But you don't help the stars. The businessman opens his mouth, but he can't find words. And the little prince leaves. The adults are very interesting, he thinks when he continues on his journey. Chapter 15 A Lamp The fifth planet is very interesting. It is a very small planet. There is only a lamp and a lamplighter on this planet. The little prince doesn't understand why there is a lamp and a lamplighter on the planet. There is enough light because the planet is under many stars. There are no other people on the planet who need a lamp. The little prince thinks, this man is strange. But he is less strange than the king, the businessman, or the drunk man. His work makes the world more beautiful. 
when he turns on his lamp, it is like a new star in the sky, or new flower. When he turns off his lamp, he sends the flower, or the star to sleep. It is a beautiful job. And because it is beautiful, it is a good job. When the little prince comes on the planet, he says to the lamplighter, Good morning. Why do you turn on and turn off your lamp? It is an order, says the lamplighter. And he turns off the lamp. What is the order? The order is to turn on and turn off my lamp. Good evening. And he turns on his lamp again. But why do you do it so often? It is the order, says the lamplighter. I don't understand, says the little prince. It is simple, says the lamplighter. The order is the order, good morning. And he turns off his lamp. Then he says, it is a terrible job now. I remember better days in the past. I turn off the lamp in the morning. In the evening I turn on the lamp again. I have all the day for me, and at night I can sleep. And is the order different now? The order is the same, says the lamplighter. It is the problem. Year by year the planet is turning faster and faster. And the order is still the same. Now the planet turns around every minute. And I have no time to sleep. I turn on and I turn off my lamp every minute. It is funny. Your day is only one minute long. It is not funny, says the lamplighter. Our conversation is already one month long, a month, yes, thirty minutes, thirty days, good evening. And he turns on his lamp again. The little prince watches the lamplighter. He likes more and more this man who follows the order. He wants to help his new friend. I can show you how you can stop your work, says the prince. I always want to stop my work, says the lamplighter. The little prince continues, your planet is so small that you can walk around it in three long steps. You only have to walk more slowly. And you can always be in the sun. When you want to stop your work, only walk. And you never have to work again. How can this help me, says the lamplighter. The one thing which I love in life is to sleep. Then you are not lucky, says the little prince. I am not lucky, says the lamplighter. Good morning. And he turns off his lamp. The little prince continues on his journey. He thinks, the other men, the king, the drunk man, the businessman can laugh at this lamplighter. But he is better than the other men. It is because he cares about something else, not only his things. This man can be my friend. But his planet is too small. There is no place for two people. The little prince doesn't want to say the real reason why he doesn't want to leave this planet. He doesn't want to leave because the planet has 1,440 sunsets every 24 hours. Chapter 16 Geographer The sixth planet is bigger than the last planet. The little prince sees an old gentleman. The man writes big books. Oh, here comes an explorer, he says, when he sees the little prince. The little prince sits down on the table. He is tired from traveling so long and so far. Where are you from? the old gentleman asks him. What is this big book? asks the little prince. What are you doing here? I am a geographer, the old gentleman answers. What is a geographer? A geographer is somebody who knows where the seas are, and rivers, cities, mountains, and deserts. It is very interesting, says the little prince. Finally, here's a man who has a real job, he thinks. And he looks around at the geographer's planet. Your planet is very beautiful, he says. Does the planet have oceans? I can't say, says the geographer. Ah, the little prince is sad. And mountains, I can't say, says the geographer. And cities and rivers and deserts, I can't tell you, says the geographer. But you are a geographer. It is true, says the geographer, but I am not an explorer. 
There is no explorer on my planet. The geographer doesn't discover cities, rivers, mountains, seas, oceans, and deserts. The geographer doesn't have time for traveling. He doesn't leave his office. But the explorers visit him in his office. He asks them questions, and he writes what they remember. And if the information is interesting to him, then the geographer has to ask more questions about the explorer. He has to know if the explorer is a good person. The little prince wants to know why the explorer has to be a good person. The geographer says, an explorer who is a bad person can give information, which is not correct, and also an explorer who drinks very much can give bad information. Why? asks the little prince. Because drunk people don't see correctly. Then the geographer can draw two mountains in a place where there is only one. I know somebody, says the little prince, who drinks a lot. He can be a bad explorer. It is possible. So when the explorer is a good person, then I have to check if his information is correct. Do you visit the place? No. It is too complicated. But the explorer has to give me proof. For example, if he knows about a big mountain, the explorer has to bring some stone from the mountain. Then the geographer smiles. But you come from very far, you are an explorer, you must tell me about your planet. The geographer opens his big book. He prepares his pen. Tell me about your home, says the geographer. Oh, where I live, says the little prince, it is not very interesting. It is very small. I have three volcanoes. Two volcanoes are active, and one volcano isn't active. But you never know. You never know, says the geographer. I also have a flower. We don't write about flowers, says the geographer. Why not? The flower is the most beautiful thing on my planet. Because flowers don't live very long. In geography, we have very correct books. Our books are almost always true. A mountain usually doesn't change its position. An ocean usually doesn't lose its water. We write about things which are here for a long time. But volcanoes, which aren't active, can be active again, says the little prince. If volcanoes are active or not, it is the same for us, says the geographer. A volcano is a mountain. It is important. A mountain doesn't change. Your flower is different. Your flower can be gone soon. My flower can be gone soon. Of course. My flower can be gone soon, thinks the little prince, and she has only four thorns for protection. And she is home alone. The little prince is sad, but he wants to continue on his journey. What is an interesting place to visit, he asks. The planet Earth, the geographer answers. It is a nice planet. And the little prince continues on his way. He is still thinking about his flower. Two sentences seven. Compound sentences. A compound sentence contains two clauses joined by a conjunction, such as an, or, but or so. Look at these examples. The verbs in the clauses are printed in color. Notice that there are two verbs, one on each side of the conjunction. 1. Some people are always happy and some people are always sad. 2. She opened the bag and took out a book. 3. Do you want coffee or would you prefer lemonade? Four, is that a bird or is it a plane? Five, Banta is good at English, but he is not very good at math. Six, Mintu wants to see Star Wars, but his friends have already seen it. Seven, Tom dropped his sandwich, so I gave him mine. Eight, it started to rain, so we went inside. Nine, Sibo never wrote the letter nor did she call him. 
Ken, I have known him for a long time, yet I have never understood him. 3. Picture Dictionary Page In the country.